Isn't that a dandelion? Yeah. What does it say? Grass? It's not a grass. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Atkins. I forgot. That's not a grass, kid. <laughs> okay, here's the dandelion, right? Does that look like a grass to you? No, that's a grass. That's a thistle. Basically, that's a thistle. It's part of the thistle thing. See how it's got the little teeth and the little fuzzy tops? That's a thistle, kids. Let's walk over here and see if we can find some more. See, look at the little seed pods. You see, they blow in the air. That's how it disperses its seed. Well, that one's not really do yet. Okay, it's a thistle. Thistles have little cotton tops like that. Okay. See, we just helped it out. Let's walk over here. Let's see if we can see some more. Okay, here's the dandelion. There's some more. See, the little flowers on top. They're kind of hairy. They look like the tops of thistles, don't they? We're going to discuss thistles this week and next week because we got a lot of them. They're they're in their midterm, so we should be able to utilize them, harvest them, show you some other cool stuff that they do. <clears throat> There's three different kinds here in the state of Missouri, but they always overlook the most common one. That one. That's a thistle. No one really thinks about it. See? There's one over here. Why do, why do we know it's a thistle? Well, see the, the rosette? See how it's going in, in a circle in a row? Right? See the points? It's got little points on it. See, it's kind of feels like sandpaper. It's got little hairs on it, right? But look how it grows in a circle, just like the other thistles do. There's the flower before it goes into, well, starts to turn into seed. Pollination and it disperses seed. That's that little fuzzy thing that you guys kick around. So basically, if you look at it, Places they make threading and paper out of it. Uh, this right here, this thistle, pretty much commonly is used for food and beverages. 